special love dog, Christabel. Christabel was one of the absolute horror cases that we took from the public shelter last September. Um, her pictures in her album, she was actually as close as to a walking skeleton as I've ever seen. Um, she's a lovely dog. She's still a little shy, but she's not shy in, a, you know, in any aggressive way. And once she gets to know you, she's the most loving dog. She'd possibly suit a home um, with one other dog, not too in your face, or even on her own. Um, she, she should suit a quiet home, maybe somebody to give her a one-to-one -one who could take the time um, to just be her special girl. She's, she's totally devoted to, um, totally devoted to um, Jan, who runs our shelter. But she's here at the house because she's intimidated by the other dogs and she can't really cope in a, in a multi-dog environment. It's almost actually like there's too, there's too many dogs here for her even. Um, she keeps herself in the corner and, um, and doesn't make a big fuss. She's not tall. She, I'd say she's... She's, I'd put her at 40, maybe 38 or 40 centimetres to the shoulder. I used to think she was kind of Labrador, but her face is a bit different. She's just um, a dear girl. She's about five years old. Um, an awful nice dog, just a nice little street dog who, um, by luck or good fortune or whatever you believe in, um, escaped a hor horrible death that many others suffered. Um, she's just an awful nice speaker. I'll step back so you can see her. She's on the table. Oh. This is Christabel. She's going to investigate what's going on up there.